Hello there and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. So in this episode we are pretty close to completing this house over here. Let me just speed up the time real quick as well. Dreonomia. Oh no. Okay, Hemlin. It's a bit sick, but that should be fine. We... I believe we do have some antibiotics. Don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. So someone's gonna go and heal or treat Emeline fairly soon. Okay, there we go. Ember's already running over and um, everything else over here is pretty good. I think our sort of crop situation and food is quite decent. So as soon as we get the roof above these rooms as well, we can start moving over the kitchen into this lower room in here and then all the other production sort of crafting tailoring up on this room here. Okay, so I think the goal for this episode really is to try and produce as many bricks as we can because I do want to build a roof above this area as well. I have noticed that um, since we're not really using cement for anything else we might we might change our plans up a little bit. So initially we plan to let's bring the roofs back up again. I think we plan to do everything with bricks. But now let's have a look if we complete this in here. Oh yeah that's quite a lot. Yep, so what we'll do is let's um, have a look at the roofs again. Uh, concrete is good, thermal insulator as well. Stone isn't, so... Okay, it's gonna look a little little bit different. But I think this is what we want to do. Okay, one second, let's have a look what's going on here. Right, that's a, another attack and they are all big ones. Okay, that's not good. How is everyone doing? We're sort of starting to wake up, it seems. And once everyone's had their food, I think we are grabbing everyone except Lara. Food situation is fine as well. Okay, so Emilyn, you are also coming with us. And let's try and deal with this um, bit of an infestation that we have over here. Now, we do have to be quite careful because we don't want to aggro everyone. Are they... Oh, those are small ones. Okay, I think we should be fine then, actually. But uh, let's take a look. So, Emlyn, you are the one with the sniper rifle. So can we... Let's pick this one first. Okay, yeah, they seem to be one hit, so that is good. All of you guys can advance just a little bit. Emlyn, there we go. Okay, don't be shy, everyone. Perhaps even here might be fine. Okay, yeah, it should be fine to... Speed it up now. Let's have a look. Three of them are attacking now. Five. Never mind. Okay, we are almost done. So where's the other nine? Oh, they're all the way up there. Okay, let's see if we can approach them slowly. Ember, don't worry about this one. I'm sure these guys can take them out. Now the question is... Oh, okay, they're right here, actually. Never mind. I thought they were further up. Uh, you may want to run back a little bit. Okay, just one left. And that is all of them. Wonderful. Okay, so we can resume with our usual work now. What I've also noticed is that the sticks over here... We are starting to get pretty short on them because um, we're producing quite a lot of bricks and uh, cement as well not cement oh yeah it is cement okay there we go and uh, yeah we've got a few more bushes that we can harvest over here but I would very much like to start planting some new ones so that field's gonna be quite big and we are gonna place it further away from the colon colony for the time being because we aren't quite sure how we want to do this layout over here tree situation is not too bad I don't think we need to harvest all of them but then again, <laughs> let's have a look. Let's uh, work on our defense a l defenses a little bit as well. So for that, let's not use the, uh, what's it called, the uh, wood fence. I think what we want to do now is use the poles instead. And the distance we want to leave from the house. Uh, let's see, if we have like a little balcony over here. One, two, three, four. I guess five is enough. That's actually fine. I was thinking of bringing it a little bit closer. So look over here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if we bring it back a little bit, we might not have a not lot of room for like a little terrace. But then again, I don't think we 
really need that terrace. One, two, three, four. Four might be fine. On this side, oh yeah, that's massive as well. Ooh, decisions. Okay. How about we make it four? Yep, we are going to do that. So one, two, three, four. Here's where the fence is going to be. Okay. I do also... Are we going to go this far? I think we are. Okay. And now what we do want to test, because um, I think the flamethrowers are going to be somewhere around here. So maybe here. Let's just pause you for a... Wait a second. Opportunity for power cell research. I've dabbled in some advanced DIY and have a vague memory of how power cells are made. Okay. Without a sample. Well, that's great. Let's uh, queue this up as well. Power cells, here we go. Are we able to plant... No. The crystals. Not yet, it seems. Well, okay. That's fine. Let's uh, speed up the time again. We have managed to move a couple of people into these rooms here as well, so that's lovely. And as soon as we get... Oh, okay. We're not too far. Just one more roof piece and the... another member of our team can be relocated over as well which is great when it comes to furniture let's do another bed one here and one over here and that should be enough for everyone okay lovely since we have tons of wood right now it is also not a bad idea to floor all the inside area over here okay there we go just to increase their happiness a little bit whilst they are running around this area and uh, I do want the kitchen to be done next, but for that we are... Have they completed any... Oh, they've done the middle bit. Okay, so that's good. Right, so let's leave them to it for, for now. These ones can go. That's going to be enough space, I believe. Let's see. Will we be able to... Go into defense tab, fence doors. Okay, that's perfect. Right, we do want to be able to sort of refuel them uh, from behind as well and I think for access in the future this is probably the area where we want to enter this zone space wise I think two tiles will be will be enough we'll try it somewhere out here okay now this corridor we do want it to be quite a lengthy one so maybe somewhere around here yes you are a little bit in our way. That's where the door is going to be. So maybe over here will be will be suitable. And it seems we might not be able to go too far with this. Okay, maybe that is the final piece then. Cool. Lara has reached the healing three. We don't have a space. And we've scavenged some more scrap metal. What do we not have space for? Okay, some food items. All those shells are already full. Right, right, right. What are we storing here? Maybe all the construction ones can be... Or electronic components. Yep. Yeah, why don't you move them over here instead? Okay. Lovely. How's our roof coming along? Another room is done. So that means we can relocate a next one. One second. Why is... Oh, we don't have the flooring here. Okay. Not to worry. We can do this fairly quickly as well. I believe we have cloth. Yes, we do. Now, the tree farm. I don't want to put those trees down there anymore. We can, of course, increase this one here. Just a little bit. And yeah, that's where our sort of defensive entrance, similar to this one, is going to be as well. So, want to make sure that there's going to be plenty of space. Now, for the traps, I am thinking... Let's have a look. We can do one, two, three... I think four wide is what we shall aim for. And over here as well, we're just going to carry on with this kind of style for now. Is that all? Yes, that should be all. And a two wide walkway in here. Oh yeah, we do have to finish you just like so as well. Deconstruct and let's remove you as well. That was the fence, wasn't it? Yep. We're going to do one over here. And all these corners. I don't think we're going to fill it with the... Oh no, we can't place you there. Okay. The uh, flamethrowers. We might do. Depends if we're going to have enough fuel, of course. But uh, I think this will be good enough for starters. Okay, connect you up. And same over here. We may also place gates at the end over here. 
but I feel like this should be fairly straightforward for them. So that's going pretty nicely. How the roofs? Okay, got a bit more over here. The sticks are pretty low, so Lara, what are you doing? You're gonna get some food. Okay, printed components, lovely. Right, hay is starting to drop pretty low as well, which is, uh... Hmm... Not ideal. Spaceship chunk. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, exploration real quick as well. Don't think it's this one. Nope. Three days. Okay, it's ten hours. Never mind, Quinn. Go and check it out. Hope you won't be away for too long, but uh, it's worth checking out because sometimes we might get some new technologies. Although, I think with this one we, we're just going to get some resources, but... Ken, what are you up to? Handling those furnaces. Do we have another builder? Okay, Ember is constructing. Let's have a look through activities real quick as well. Ember and Nova. Okay. That should be plenty. And this roof is almost done as well. So this means whoever is sleeping here. Let's do Nova. Okay, Nova, you're gonna go there. This one can be deconstructed. And same with this one. So a couple more things we want to do is uh, Lara, since um, she's the only one that's really sort of harvesting and planting, let's uh, fix you up as well. We want planting to be number two. Uh, actually number one and then harvesting and cutting can be number twos. Yep, and the rest we're just going to put the handling number three because everyone else is also doing a bit of handling. Just want to make sure that Lara is constantly making sure that we have all the plants growing. Noah's re reached construction four. Okay, lovely. Yep, so that is quite uh, quite important for us. Now, the next thing. Let's have a look at the roofs again. So, this section is almost complete, which is very, very lovely. Uh, I have noticed that stone numbers are starting to get a little low. So, we might just want to harvest a, a little bit more. If we can find some. Oh no, we've mined pretty much everything out on this side already. But that's okay. There should be still tons of it on this side. That means kitchen can be moved over pretty soon. Let's start by having a look at which kind of flooring we want here. I guess ceramic would be nice, but we don't have any concrete. Actually, before we move into the kitchen, let's look at some of the storage options as well. Wardrobe would be lovely to have, although it takes metal alloys. Uh, you did 10. Oh, never mind. Let's um, just make the wooden ones, actually. Oh, yeah. It, this one's with alloys. This one's with logs. I don't think we need the biggest one. So for now, let's just do these, these small ones over here. Okay, yep. A couple over here. And that means all the sort of weapons and other clothing items can be stored in those wardrobes. Right next to the... or in their bedrooms. And that should be should give us a bit more space and storage for for other things. Okay, so that's done. These fences are coming along pretty nicely as well. Can oh, you're salvaging this one here? Okay, no worries, Lara. Let's check you. Oh, there's a lot of grain in here. Yeah, we might want to just reduce the the size of this field. I think that should be more than enough. Oh yeah, there's 2,700 in here. Oh wow, okay. Another thing we could do, I just want to remove them from the outside. So how about we build another uh, storage area here? Or a couple of shelves. Okay, and for this, actually yeah, all the all types of raw food will be fine over here. Cool. Lara, you've done the trees. Though I would have preferred if you cut down some sticks. Yeah, we're going to have to focus on that tomorrow, most likely. What shall we do next? I think let's bring the kitchens a little bit closer now. What we are actually, yeah, let's just move it. And then with the next one, I do want to build another cooking stove as well. Just so someone else could help us out a little bit. So let's, uh, why don't we copy you over, over to that side. And then what we'll probably do as well, all these storages... Let's copy one over here for, for meals. And we can do another one here as well. And that's when we can start moving all the 
raw ingredients out. Okay, we do have to ha get this uh, defensive perimeter done. And the distance was... Oh, wrong one. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Toxic ash. Oh, no, that's not good. One, two, three, four. So we're going to bring it over here. Oh. Spaceship debris. Okay, that's lovely. Very close to us. Right, Lara, you are planting over there. No. I think it's time to cut these ones. Cut those ones. And cut those ones as well. Alright, go for it. Now, what are we growing here again? Okay, bomb bush and cloth blossom and branch cactus. We got the cooking stove over here already. I think what we can do is empty and deconstruct, so we do need those resources right next to our cooking stoves. And um, yeah, let's have a look at the leisure as well. We can do a dartboard, maybe, maybe over here. Okay, what else do we have? All these items outside can be moved indoors for, for now. There is another one here as well. Okay, here we go. And same with you. Ember, how about you construct one of those wardrobes? There we go. Lara. Okay, so why don't we let you finish this and um, then we can instruct you to start planting over there again. Bit of hay. Yep, hay is quite important as well because we are going to need it to make some more bricks. So, fine, you can focus on that. On a more positive note, it seems our roofs are almost done, so concrete the middle bit, just a little bit left, we need 62 more, and then a small bit over here as well. Lovely, so this means we can probably start putting some uh, benches and storages here as well. We do need to give them a bit of access, because I don't want this one to be the only one. Okay, so, yeah, maybe even like so. This might be fine as well. And now when it comes to the storage itself, probably going to do the same. Let's uh, set up some shelves over here. We don't need any food items. Uh, cloth and leather might be fine. Components themselves, uh, not really. Barrel, weapons, no. Medicine, no. And other items, no as well. Okay, now we do need storage for those other items and I think for the time being we could just store them over here so let's just remove everything else uh, crafting can go raw items yeah I think that will be will be fine insufficient storage oh yeah that's the food but we we have stored up some uh, shelves over here so we just need to let them catch up with all the work that we we have planned for our colonists and as soon as they're done with those shelves, will be uh, will be much better as well. Okay, so it's 3 a.m. and we have another attack. That's gonna happen soon. Oh, there's some bigger bugs over here as well. Huge purple mantis. And those flying ones. Although they're not very strong, they are still quite annoying. Um, right. You guys are healing. I think there's a few people that we... To have to take with us. Okay, four of you. I'm sorry, guys. But this is about our survival here. Let's see if we can just slowly but surely. Come on. Okay. Maybe just back a little bit. Oh, wow. They're all coming. Okay, fine. Probably need Quinn to attack as well and knock him out. This one. Eh, uh, nope. And if we can now hit this guy over here. Okay, cool. Closest to us. Nope. Alright, not too bad. Nope, don't walk over there. Just uh, keep shooting. Almost there. And then we have just uh, another two left in the flying ones. Should drop pretty quickly and easily. Alright, we are missing a lot of shots. Oh, walk back a little bit. Nope. Here we go. Lovely. So now we can... Just 11 left over here. Okay, Ember, I think you can stand over there. Take aim. And... Okay, so you can stay over there. Just uh, one left now. Oh no, I think we took one. 
it, Nova. Nova's been... Let's have a look. How are you? Acid spit. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, right. Why don't you take the further one out? And now once that is done, we'll focus on this big boy over here. Oh, here it comes. When... We'd like you to focus on this one instead. Alright, couple more hits. Here we go. Just two more birds left, so I think with these we can probably say that Nova, you can go home after this one. Yep. And where's the last one? Ember, that should be just one shot. And uh, who else is here? Ken, you can go as well. Alright, there we go. That was not too bad. Might even uh, harvest these big guys over here. Okay, observe this one. Put you the other two. And do we need to observe those flies as well? Yes, we do. Okay. Lovely. So where are we? Uh, sticks are already growing over here. Illness, Nova. Bit of an infection, it seems. And uh, it seems our roof is done as well. Or at least we have the materials in. Now we just have to construct everything here. Right, a solar eclipse. So fortunately, or unfortunately, we don't really have any electronics. Which is something we do have to start focusing on pretty soon as well. Oh no, trees are pretty low. Well, we are harvesting them once there. Let's just check the growth. 83%. I think we might be fine just to try and harvest some of them early if we or once we are starting to get pretty low on the logs i mean i do want to continue this defensive perimeter over, over here okay so it seems our year one is finally coming to an end new year's eve is approaching and they'd like to gather and uh, celebrate of course go ahead you'll get a bit of a mood buff as well so that would be would be very lovely hopefully we don't get any tax whilst we whilst we are trying to celebrate uh, the New Year's Eve, but um, okay, other than that, we do have the roof almost complete now. There's just a couple more sections over here, so 61 bricks are needed. A new resource spread, okay, so another food resource that we have now. And I think with everything that we have here, we are not gonna keep this... Uh, let's have a look. Roof and everything, yep, we do wanna get rid of this whole thing in here. So deconstruct that. Floors can go as well. Don't know if we... Okay, so once we do the floors, I guess the rest of it comes down as well. Okay, there we go. We should get um, some of the wood back, so... That will be good, because we do want to close. Let's have a look. How many logs are you going to take? 120. Well, it might be fine. Let's have a look. If we can grab a couple of those, those doors as well. Okay, one can go somewhere around here, and second one there. Uh, we lost one of those shirts. Okay, fine. I mean, it's not fine, but um, yeah. We still need to remove all this stuff. I think it's also time to go for some electricity now, because we don't want to lose all those meals that we uh, spend so much time cooking. And uh, there's two ways how, how we can go about it. I think, well. The easiest one would be to just use fridges or freezers, but I'd say there's no point. It's a bit of a waste of resources and electricity to build fridges, because we do want to store them for quite a, quite a long time. And now with the freezers, yeah, they seem like a slightly better option. However, once we have quite a few of them, they are going to consume a, a lot of electricity. So we could also try, I haven't done it yet, but I'm pretty sure we could, um, let's see, light and heat. No, we haven't researched it yet. If we research heat pumping, we could use those air cons, put a couple in here to lower the overall temperature of the room itself. Now, the, um, what we do need to then make sure is that these doors stay shut most of the time because we don't want any of that uh, cold air to transfer into the other rooms we might even have to expand this a little bit to make a different entrance for it but uh, yeah that should be overall like a slightly cheaper way how to do this I think but it also means oh yeah they are the cook stoves are gonna heat up the room 
yeah, not entirely sure which one to do because I haven't, again, I haven't tried to put uh, use the method with the air cons. But let's see what's uh, happening over here real quick. So we're losing a bit of food, scavenge some uh, alloys over here. We've got the material fabricator now. So transforms energy into construction materials. Oh, that's going to be lovely. We are going to use some matrixes though. And there is a new nest over here. Which isn't too far from us. But I think there's a few that are slightly closer to our base. Uh, yeah, they're right over there. Okay, there's one, two, three, and four. Which we are going to tap into pretty soon as well. Okay, well, here we go. Fireworks are already going up, it seems. Let's hide all this as well, so have a quick look at all of the fireworks. Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. It's been quite a... I wouldn't say it's been a tough year. and I mean, we're managing quite nicely. Yeah, okay, so there we go. I think they're pretty much done with the celebration now, so let's have a look. How much uh, on a mission, uh, celebrate New Year, so that is for two days, but that's that's good. Okay, yep, 21 bricks needed, and as soon as it's done, I think we're going to cut the production down a little bit and move it all, I'd say, somewhere closer over here as well. What is new over here? Yeah, I think with electricity electric cook stoves and furnaces we're not gonna use them because uh, we're not really in a rush with the furnaces so we can just leave them to sit around and and sticks as well I think we are producing enough so it, it should not be a worry for us what is a worry for us though is getting this perimeter fence done and pretty sure those trees are gonna be done very soon as well how many days in total is it 18 days yeah that's a long time Okay, in case we are going to need even more of those trees in the future, I think we're just going to expand it a little bit. We might even have to sort of push it back a little bit because this might be in our firing range. Okay, and these items, I believe we have space, so why don't we empty this all? Yeah, all these items can go into our kitchen area. Okay, yeah, we are starting to lose a bit of food, so I think it's time. It is time to go into power, and the first ones we'll do, we've got quite a few electronics. Yeah, maybe a couple of each. We might just plop a battery down here as well, and we are also going to need... Let's make a wooden hole, maybe... Maybe somewhere here for now. Actually, right in the middle. That will do. All right. Power. Let's do a few solo panels just in case as well. And we are going to try and space them out a little bit. Oh, the fence is over here. So, okay. Like so. Should be fine. Let's see. They have increased the range of the electric poles as well. So that is very good. I do want to connect them up with the... What are you called again? Not the blade grass. This tower over here. Lightning rods. Yep. Because once we get the, the rainy season again and some lightning storms, then we can quickly charge up our batteries. Lovely, concrete uh, fortifications is done as well, although we're not going to use them just yet. I do... Okay, so if we go over here, fortifications, concrete, so these are pretty high walls, and the survivors can't really shoot over this. To, it, to be able to see over those walls, we are going to need some towers and place them around this area as well, which, you know, I think we are going to build some, but because um, they look pretty cool. But for now, it's just so much easier using those low fences over here. Yes, their hit points are a lot lower, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Uh, integrity 750. Yeah, that's that's way higher. Let's see, 100 for you, or we could do carbon 250. Yeah, just a couple of hits in the box can be can go through pretty quickly but it just feels quicker and easier to use the low walls for now and once we have more resources and we're set up a bit better then we can upgrade our defenses the distance is right one two three four yes it is and over here if we check it's gonna be in this square 
All right, there we go. So that's the furthest. We're going to have one trap here. Second, third, fourth. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay, so that's the square we need. All the way here, connect it up. Searchlight is now done. Let's have a look at this. So an automated source of light that detects and lights up hostiles in range, making them easier to target. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's say... Although the range is quite small, but it would be handy to have it like somewhere, I'd say somewhere over here. And right, okay, so everything's been exported from here, which means this house can now be removed as well. Let's take all those floors out. And uh, once we relocate these resources, we can do like another entrance over here. Okay, it seems our roof is pretty much done. Just one section left over here, but everything else is under the undercover now and uh, the next thing we do want to do is start moving some of those resources indoors for the for the time being at least okay let's see oh wait a second electricity is already done well that's amazing okay and the batteries can hold a lot more juice as well because we do have the battery optimization which is great okay so that means we could go into storages I think for now before we start changing our house around and maybe do the aircon setup we're gonna do it this way so the freezer is gonna be for let's see raw food on this side and maybe how many metal alloys we have a couple okay what's the production right now 92 and you take, if we build another one, 25 alloys. Okay, let's do one more over here. Well, you look at that, the house is already gone. This means we can move all of you. I guess we're gonna place you on this side. Alright, there we go, all four of you. Out of the way, and with the materials themselves as well. Okay, so why don't we do a new one? Let's do storage shelves. No, not that one. Stockpile. Okay, this one is gonna hold. So over here, all the raw food and all those items are gonna go out. And the only thing we really wanna store here is not cement, no bricks, no stone. Yeah, I think everything else will be fine. Maybe metal alloys as well. Uh, just so the materials are closer to our furnaces, but also under the roof so they don't start expiring too quickly. Everything that can go outside. Oh no, you're in the way now. How about if we move you over just a little bit? And then if you don't connect, we, we can place you over here as well. Okay, so let's try this again. The stockpile goes... Oh, that was quick. Here we go, right over here. And we're gonna do the same thing. Uncheck everything that we don't need here. No alloys, wood, sticks, hay or scrap. I don't remember if scrap sort of expires outside as well. Oh yeah, outside, there we go. Same. 72 days, stone is indefinite. And alloys, okay, so we got it right. Beautiful, so uh, these storages can also go now. Let's uh, empty and deconstruct. Get them out this way. Same with you guys. Hay should go inside as well, so why don't we copy and give you a separate line over here for now. Wait, the wall's gonna be here, isn't it? So we can actually make it a little bit longer. Uh, come on, over here, copy, and we'll do one longer one, just like so. All right, everybody, time to start moving these out of the way, 61. Oh wow, that's a lot. Everyone's still sleeping, but uh, let's do this final attack. Let's get rid of those bugs over here. It seems one of those bugs has just expired, but yeah, there was 60 of them there. Oh wow, we still have quite a few things to construct and to get rid of such a big army here as well. I think it's gonna take everyone from our side, but what we'll do is, let's have a look. So in this episode, we managed to complete quite a few things. Roofs are now complete. Oh, come on, just one link over here. Okay, fine just a corridor anyway so that's fine yeah our defensive perimeter is coming together pretty nicely as well everyone's living indoors all the crafting's happening indoors we do need to give them a bit of a nicer flooring here a bit of lighting as well 
we got electricity already as well which is fantastic and we're starting to do one of those freezers over here so um yeah once we get this down some resources sort of stored safely away in the in the freezing temperatures i think in the future we might consider doing the air cons but for now i think that's quite a good progress for this episode so in the next one we'll try and get rid of that army of bugs over here oh another one has expired well that's not really fair is it it's like 15 of you against one at least there's three less than before but okay we'll deal with this in the next episode for now thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one